Magnus here for what promises to be our final episode of Drakengard 2. Not including possible bonus episode, or episodes, whatever, regardless. I'm rambling. Uh, in the last episode, we started our third and final playthrough, and this one, as I said, we're going to finish it. But before we go on to Chapter 12, some things I'd like to go over. First off, for those of you playing along that we're trying to get 100% of the weapons, if you don't have 100% of the weapons right now, you're missing some. What I recommend you do is you go to every shop in every village and make sure you've bought all of the weapons from every shop. If you have, then you're going to have to check free expeditions, because at this point in the game you cannot go back to other parts of the story and you'll have to do a fourth playthrough to get any weapons you missed in the story. I guess look at the videos that I've made for the free expeditions and see if there's a weapon that I have that you don't. Because in the worst case scenario, you're going to have to do a fourth playthrough, look through the story section of this game that I did in my first playthrough, and see what weapon you must have neglected. But you should, in theory, have them all now. But I digress. For this particular episode, I'm going to be playing through Chapter 12 in its entirety, which is technically what I've been doing, because I did that in Chapter... Uh... Not chapter, I did that in the second playthrough as well, but I am doing that once again for the third playthrough because if I were to just show the new cutscenes in here, we'd be at the very end of the game, just before the credits. Yeah, nothing new happens, this is kind of a spoiler. We're going to be fighting some of the bosses that we've already fought before. So, I'm not saying which ones... But if I didn't tell you this, I, there would be no way for me to justify playing the entire thing and showing it. I will be cutting out the boss bat- well, I'll be cutting out one of the boss battles because it doesn't have anything new in it. One of the bosses has a new attack, so I'll be showing that particular battle. But without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Also, I want to show how difficult this is in extreme difficulty, so yeah. Land, the land where the gods created the world, where humanity was born. We're almost there. Indeed. What's in the promised land? What would Hierarch Seri be doing? Goddess of Zeal, Lenny this ring bell. There we go. And restore order to the world. Hierarch Seri found a goddess. I didn't think he could manage anything on his own. You know, that's insulting, though. I mean, yes, he's an eight-year-old child in body, but in mind, he's 26, I think. He's the same age as Mana. Right, so you hear. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, anyway, monsters gathering for ne Negna Legna <laughs> Incinerate them and head for the promised land. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye. Okay, there we go. I'm good. Ow! Okay, not as good as I thought I was. Ow, please stop. Damn it, you didn't die like I wanted you to. You're supposed to drop something for me. Ow. Damn it. Hey, quit moving. How do you expect me to kill you if you don't stop moving? What a jerk. Yeah, this is going to be as difficult as it was. Actually, no, it's going to be even more difficult. Because, you know. Ooh! I mean, it's not the best one I could have gotten. And, in fact, I wasted it by not looking at the enemy in time. And that was dumb. Why do I always do that? I sometimes... I hate you. Okay, I need... What's the wave after this? Um, I think I want blue first? Yeah, I think I want blue first, then I want yellow... Yeah, that sounds right. Ow! Ow! Please don't! Actually, no, I don't need to do that yet. That was my mistake. No, you fucking don't. And now I need one. Seriously? 
Die, please. I said die, please. Jeez, what, does please not do it for them anymore? Although, technically, it didn't do them for the... No, I really should learn to dodge that attack. I saw it coming. I did nothing. Ooh, no, you don't. I'm not going to run into that unless I... It's the right color. You're a dick, you know that, you stupid bird? Why is it so difficult to dodge that? Because he waits till like, I'm right on top of him to do it, that's why. What a little bitch. Alright, so, where are we? Please be the only one left. Oh, of course you're not. Holy hell, I actually managed to dodge that. By not looking at him. Keeping my eye away from him was the... Se oh, fuck. Well, I'm probably not getting it this time, considering. And you're dead. Congratulations. And here we are with the creepy, grotesque... things. Ow! Where are you, you little shit? Oh, there you are. Found you, you little shit! Whoop! Oh, fuck! I hate that move! Alright, instead of having you experience me do that again, I'm probably just gonna cut this here. Because you don't need to see me die constantly over and over again, and I don't need to show you the things we've already seen at least twice now. You wanna get back? Okay, I'm back. That was a royal pain. Um, don't do the auto lock on the moldy men, it'll just spawn them automatically. Or I don't know if it was that or if I was too close, but, uh, yeah, dummy fireballs is the best way to do it. And locking on when they transform into the moldy tentacle ball thing is the best way to get rid of them. I, of course, mean the locked shots, not locking on. Although locking on is also a good idea. But I digress. Is this the promised land? Indeed. This land. This is our final destination. Your time has come, no way. Like I've had enough Excuse of Excuse me. Days. An important yeah, that was course. violent. Come with me. That shall be our next destination. What is this relic? The bone casket created by the nameless. Wait! We must perform the ceremony right away! That's stupid, Eris. Your fate has no relevance to me. Repeat your foolish history if you like. But no way is no human. He is a new breed. Come with me. Lena. You heard the Book of Seeds at the ancient tomb. You are an artifact, a product of our plan. You have no other choice. No way. Think of your future. I'll follow you. Again, because your ideas are shit, that is a smart move, Mana. Kill the gods. That is what the Book of Seeds has destined for you. This is your mission. It's the only way to save this world. I'm not going to do the voice again, even though I like doing it. Is such a thing even possible? Time did it. Will that save the world? I mean, he didn't kill all of them, but he killed a good chunk of them. I've already told you, that is why you're a new breed. Yeah. Think God, no way. Without gods, there would be no need for humans to carry the burden of the seal. The seal would be unnecessary? Yes, my child. You need not throw away your happiness as a woman to become a goddess. I still want to know how Legna knew that. I mean, I don't think I brought that up last time, but how did Legna know? Eris, no. Hmm. Tell me this isn't true. I didn't want anyone to know. Especially you, Noe. <clears throat> the goddess cannot live the life of an ordinary woman. So yeah, this ending heads towards the bone casket way. Now? So we'll be fighting yeah, that again. Gosh. I see. Yeah, pull a Kratos. It's worth trying. Even yes, though I've never actually played that game, I'm well aware he kills gods. From carrying the burden of the goddess seal. Yeah, that. Go team. 
Let's do it. Where are the others? I only see Noe on it. Oh, it never mind. Took me a moment. It was kind of far away to see. The phone calls him. Looks like one of the seeds of resurrection from 18 years ago. Indeed. Well observed, my child. They're both playthings of the gods. Right. What are you trying to make him do? Lana, shut up. We've already established you're an idiot. He must go inside. The casket can help creatures to evolve. With its power, the boy can evolve into a new breed. I'd still like to play the Pokemon music here for evolution, but he doesn't evolve. I suppose he does later, but still. Indeed. What's your no, no way. We're doing it for shits and gigs. Did I give him a stupid marker at that point? I don't think I did last time. Well, let's do it now. Well, back there. Who would destroy them? Even they could not predict such a plan. This goes against the natural order. No one cares what you think, Mana. In this world, do not delude yourself. No, I don't go inside that thing. You don't know what's in there. I'm ready to Pretty to sure it's just a blank white room. I do this. No. I have to do this. This is my fate. This is why I was born. I must fulfill my destiny. Good luck with that. We'll all be sitting out here waiting for you to get propelled backwards from the stupid thing. Now part of me isn't sure why I kept all of this. I mean, after he said the line about the bone casket and they were going down here, I probably could have cut this, but eh. There is this exceptional need for concern. Last time this didn't work. Nope. The bone casket rejects you. And you know that how? Then again, she was pretty close to the gods. Maybe that's how she knows. Wake up, stupid thing. This is alive. It is ancient. I sense that the plaything of the gods sees us as its enemy. Do not fear, no one. And we're going to treat it. To execute what has been recorded as reality. Yes, it sees us as an enemy. Let's beat the shit out of it. Maybe that'll listen. I'm about to rebel against the gods. Yes, you are. They are false gods. When the holy dragons return to the throne, the gods will become the nameless again. I thought they were the nameless still. I didn't think their name changed. Oh wait, it changed three times. Yes. But unless we get four, we will not be able to reach the gods who lie beyond. Gods, grotesqueries, the nameless. Actually, no, three. I was right with three. I don't know why I said four. They're driven by whim. Creating humans on a whim. Destroying the world on a whim. We'll see if this will get their attention. Legna's fire has no effect on the bone casket. Get on top of it and attack it directly. Okay, so this fight is literally exactly the same as it was before. There might be a little less time between hitting and getting off of the egg. But apart from that, it's the same exact fight. So I'm just going to cut this fight out and we're going to move on to the next cutscene that happens after we kill this thing. So I'll see you when this is done. Well, that was annoying. Seriously, that was annoying. I also noticed every time on the third one, when I had to get behind the yellow pillar, I fucked up. It's falling! Oh no, it's gonna fall on Mana! That means we might get to kill her again! Yay! It's moving! Is it up to us? I mean, oh no, Mana! Not Mana! Not like they could have walked out of the fucking way! I knew it was you. Your wound is so... Okay, crazy lady. I remember you well. 
but I'll never become one with you again. You know, in all of this monologue time, you could have walked the fuck away, Mana. No, no, seriously, Mana, you could have just walked out of its way, it would have fallen on the ground, and nothing would have happened. That's all I'm saying. And then Noe could have walked in, he would have leveled up, he would have evolved, and it would have been happy, uh, super happy fun time. But no. Mana, where is she? I'm guessing under that yellow, white light, rather. I was going to say yellow light. And it's getting devoured, and she's fine. She didn't evolve, though. I'm, right I'm confused. I'm still myself. I'm no longer a puppet. Congrats. Warm and fuzzies all around. She ate the egg. So now... Noah isn't super Jagovian. so glad. And... You're safe, too. Now... Something happens. I won't thank you. I could have saved myself without your help. I agree. It was a simple matter of walking out of the way. It's all you had to do. Literally all you had to do. <sighs> anyway, now what? So you've probably figured out how this is going to end. Conceive, Joseph Moore. We must keep moving. But should we really be following the word of the book? The world is in chaos, Legna. Shouldn't we be trying to help the survivors? How is that going? Wasting your time. Humans are a failed... Ow! They're weak. Never mind their fate. Fuck you, Legna! You raised me, a mere human. It was you who raised a helpless infant to a full-grown man. Don't misunderstand. It was simply because you were the new blue. The weapon. Of the holy dragon. What an asshole! Is that all I am to you? Yeah, pretty much. He's kind of an asshole, as I've said multiple times. I can't go with you. It doesn't matter what the book says. I'll choose my own future. So yeah, this is essentially ending A and B mashed together. If you hadn't figured it out yet. The book of seeds is no prophecy. It is a record of the future. I guess there was some new stuff said in this particular portion of it, so... It's kind of new. My brothers, now is the time to fulfill our destiny! But there is one major difference between endings A, B, and C. Even though C is just a mix-up of both A and B. And we get to see this awesome cutscene again, which I appreciate. Took you long enough to get here, C Ray, and this makes more sense here than it did before. Really, I mean, some time has passed. There's actually a reason that Noe is disobeying Legna. Because he's a colossal asshole. But I digress. Holy dragons gather around Legna. A mysterious group of stone giants follow their path of dis uh, path. Ahead. Fuck it. I've already read it before correctly. I'm not going to do it again, I guess. We're just in time. Yup. My lord, we've been expecting you. The world is in chaos. And now he came in in a different area. The myth is about to become reality. Yup. Do you know about this? Would you enlighten us? What are the dragons trying to do? I what do you think? Which nine times out of ten is wrong as I've already I stated. Well, technically, it stated it last playthrough, but you get my idea. Okay, doesn't sound too bad. At the ancient tomb. The dragons want to become gods again. That must be their motive. There's no other explanation. The dragons wish to become gods? Is such a thing possible? Thank you for adding to the conversation, Noe. They succeeded. 
Super happy fun times? Again, you don't know that, C-Ray. I mean, yes, Legna's an asshole, but they don't all have to be assholes. Now I see. Legna deceived <sighs> Noe from the very beginning. He never wanted to save the human world. He only thought about his own race. 